Well, let's talk some baseball. Live shot at Victory Field today. The Indians have a game tonight, 7.05 against the Mud Hens. And tonight is the uh, dollar menu night. Oh. So a bunch of things are uh, just a buck tonight. So uh -huh. we want to get to uh, Sean Ash and yeah. find out about the forecast to find out if we will see any rain or you know, storms. You know, the yesterday game. we were thinking the start might be delayed. Right. Uh, today it looks like the rain's picking up a little bit in terms of uh, the forecast from yesterday. So I, I think they probably get, well, they're going to get the game in regardless. Okay. Uh, the first pitch may be dry. So Perfect. some good news. Don't cancel those plans to head down to Victory Field. You can see over my shoulder here. Yeah, we do have some heavy showers. They are just that right now. Live Doppler 13 radar showing the heaviest pockets of rain falling over Hamilton County heading toward Elwood. We gave you a heads up on that. Alexandria, you're in line for this. Linwood, uh, but over Cicero right now, Westfield, and notice the lightning counter. I've got it on a 15 minute loop here. All right, so we haven't seen any lightning over the last 15 minutes. We're going to work down this line. Zionsville getting wet, northwest side, Meridian Hills, that's on the way, Carmel. Here's our new scan, live Doppler 13 radar crossing over 74, a little heavier pocket of rain. That's over toward Liston, uh, Brownsburg. Going to get a little shower toward you as we go down southwest here. Clayton, this starts to work in. We believe probably in the city by 1230. Still got some steady rain in the 50s in Lafayette as well as Attica. We'll go down to the southwest, a little heavier cell that's developing. And I do expect to see some intensification. So though we don't have lightning right now, I suspect before the day is over, especially in southeastern Indiana where it's warmer, you're probably going to start to get some more of these uh, storms flaring up. Heavy rain, lightning, that's just going to be the main threat. We're not dealing with severe weather. Uh, Kokomo, Peru, Lafayette, it's going to be a little raw here the next few hours as you're now on the, uh, the cooler side of the rain axis. And this leading edge is where it's kind of the dividing line. Here in the city, we still have 70 degrees, 72 in Muncie, 74 in Seymour. So this is where the, the best chance for thunder and lightning will be. I want to go into Hamilton County. We have a camera there on the uh, Morse Reservoir. You can see where it's cloudy, a little gusty shower action there. Over in Crawfordsville, it's 58 degrees, overcast with some wet weather there. There. Uh, we got some showers there and it had a little rumbles of thunder earlier there today, but right now it's just some uh, raindrops on the lens. So his side is going to break down with future track 13. Want to watch the clock here and notice start to get some of the heavier cells in that area that I was just talking about by 2.30 or 3 o'clock. So we'll have some thunderstorms to contend with. I don't envision they're going to be severe, but certainly going to produce some very heavy rain, some frequent lightning. We talked about the Indians game and notice the clock here. By 5.30, most of the rain is in the southeastern corner of the state. And by 7 or 8 p.m., most of this starts to move out. So we do expect there will be dry weather for baseball today. Not that way right now. Southwest wind at 28, so gusty conditions, 70 now. That temperature falls down into the 60s and 50s once we get underneath some of this rainfall. And there's the wind shift right around 4 or 5 o'clock as the front comes through. So right now, first pitch looking dry, might be cloudy. Take a jacket. The north wind produces temperatures in the 50s by the time the game wraps up. Here's the rest of future track 13 as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning. One thing I want to point out, showing a little more cloud cover right now. I'm going to be a little more optimistic and go for some late day sunshine, uh, and I think we'll still climb into the mid and upper 60s. It will be pretty pleasant tomorrow, even if we have the clouds. Here's how it looks. Decreasing clouds Tuesday, 68. Wednesday, 68. Scattered storms back in play both Thursday and Friday. We're still keeping the weekend dry right now, and that's good timing. Race for the Cure is Saturday morning. We're going to be out there live, upper 40s to near 70 for the high, both Saturday and Sunday.